Back at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens, where I work, I visited the FWC Field Lab to discuss the statewide nesting program in Florida. The purpose of our nesting survey programs uh, are to give us um, some information on how well the population's doing. This gives us a chance to count, actually, in the end, to count the numbers of mature females in, in a sea turtle population in Florida. The, when the sea turtles come up to nest on the beach, they have to drag big, heavy bodies across uh, soft uh, sand, and they leave very easy to see tracks. And the tracks are even identifiable to species. So a loggerhead leaves a different track than a green turtle, a different track than a leatherback. So you can go along the beach in the morning and look at tracks, identify what species they're from, and by looking at the characteristics of the track and any digging that's been done, tell whether the turtle nested or not. So if you do this on all the beaches in Florida every day during the nesting season, you can actually determine how many nests loggerheads made, how many nests green turtles made, how many nests leatherbacks made. And so each year you can see what the total number of nests are. And over the years you can see if those are increasing or decreasing. Alan showed me nesting data that can be found at the FWC website. You can see here in the late 80s uh, to mid 90s, the numbers each year were going up. There was a period here where they were going down for about 10 years and there was a lot of worry. Um, and there's a lot of different potential reasons for that, but the good news is that they're going up again. Without these and other data, we would not understand that loggerhead sea turtles are increasing in number and that green turtles just had a record year. So how does FWC obtain these data? This is a huge undertaking that goes uh, throughout all of Florida. This is covering all the sandy beaches of Florida for a pretty long period of the year, say early spring to late fall, to um, count all the nests by all the species in all areas of Florida. So from Pensacola to Key West to Jacksonville, people are out counting. In Northeast Florida, it's really all the sandy beaches. Um, Northeast Florida has about 150 miles of sandy beach that all have to be surveyed. There are about 17 different groups that, um, that do those surveys in Florida. So it's a total of about 500 associated personnel, and they provide summary data, the overall kind of picture of the data to the state so that we can put that together to look at, at what the numbers are statewide.